will we have a Laura pre-ban? Because they both use Laura very heavily. And that is going to be a Laura and Yonhom pre-ban. First pick for Blue Whale. Is it going to be Chandra or Water Twin Angel? It is going to be the Chandra first pick for Blue Whale. So over there, we are seeing the Cigar Velajo. Two very meta player, especially with a Fire Bayek Ashur. But what's going to be the win unit? Or are we seeing an LD support coming out from Blue Whale? It is going to be a water unit being picked up here. It's going to be the mouse and the Ashur. Both can easily snipe off a target in the first turn. Very scary duo. So we need a counter play here. Are we seeing a Hay Gang or are we seeing a speed lead? It is going to be a speed lead. It's going to be more to provide a strip. And more can't be one shot easily. But we need another follow up after this AoE strip. Or maybe a swift unit like Asher. It's going to be Asher for the for matsu the counter play for the more will be the diana and last pick cover for blue whale will be a smicer wow both are going very rgb heavy draft no ld5 anywhere to be seen because they both get pre banned is it gonna be a smicer lockdown but if you locked up smicer right now i think blue whale draft is now very vulnerable to an aoe unit especially something like a rika can be quite impactful against Blue Whale. But Blue Whale is going to be very, very strong if Velager getting banned out and his team start moving, taking turns, silencing, doing a lot of damage. So Matsu is going to go for the strong win AoE unit being the Wind Robo, providing the stun and the attack by pushback. Nope, it's going to be a fire AoE unit in the name of Okeanos for the AoE stun and the AoE attack by pushback combined with some cooldown reset as well. So, what is going to be the ban here? Are we seeing a Cigar or Oki ban? And I think we're definitely going to see a Smicer ban because that thing is so annoying when you don't have AoE cleanse. Because I don't think Matsu has a way to one-shot the Smicer quickly. So it's going to be a Cigar ban. It's going to be a Smicer ban. Blue Whale lacking a bit of healing. Master lacking a bit of damage. Let's see which one's going to come on top. Because remember, in G3, anything can do damage. Look at the Mora going in first, doing some solid damage already. But the Dino's going to get a turn here with a shield. No, it's going to go for the stun onto the... Ho Onto the Asher, but could not get it done. Immunity up. Okeanos will drop some heat as well with the Rain of Stone. And triple stun for Okeanos. Get a Violent Prize as well to reset the... Potentially the Ashur or the Chandra. It's going to be the Ashur because he can provide some healing and cleansing for the team. And he's definitely on the Vial. More looking for a target. And the target will be the Diana with the seal effect onto the Diana. So no funny procking business from Diana as well. This is a rare moment for Sirun to be very, very good. Damage from Diana. Diana suffering from a lot of damage right now. And Diana is about to go down. Diana will go down to the Asher at this moment. And Blue Whale lost a unit. Master moving next to the, I think, Chandra. Because he reset it, the Ashur. So he can be sure that that unit would not hurt him too much. So the target will be Chandra. No defense break on the Ashur. Did not get a defense break. The Asher is going to move in with the heal. Mars going in with big damage. Okeanos will drop another hit onto the Ashur. And he'll make sure the Ashur is going to die. And Matsu will take game one. The control team will beat... I don't know what to call Blue Whale team. It doesn't really fit into a stereotype. It's just a very good combination of unit that kind of work together. But I guess Masu really figured that out. The AUE control from Okeanos was all he needed. Moving on to round two between Masu and Blue Whale. What is going to be the pre band this time? Are we locking in an LD pre band? So I guess Laura would never make it to the stage today between Masu and Blue Whale. They both use Laura. They both know Laura is incredible. First pick for Matsu. Will he take the Cigar or the Chandra first?
Oh, he's not locking in the cigar. He will lock in the cigar, which means Blue Whale can go for the Chandra Veladro if he so desire. Here comes the Chandra. Here comes the Ashur once again, being first picked by Blue Whale. A very solid unit for those who doesn't have Han. Veladro getting locked in, but what is going to be a speed lead? Are we seeing more and Ashur once again? It worked out pretty well last round. It will be drafted once again. So now Blue will have to think of a counter strategy for what he couldn't deal with last time. I don't think Miles is going to be the answer. I think we need to go for something different. And that's going to be the Verd getting picked up to go for the Revenge onto the more and the Cigar. Dyna getting picked up once again. A lot of attack bar gain in the past of these two units. And a lot of disruption if they manage to get a turn. Are we seeing... An Antares? No, no, no. There's no way. But I'm pretty sure we might be seeing the Asher once again. It's like a free-to-play Rora, in a sense. Providing the speed buff, providing the heal. Oh, it's gonna be the Fire Robo getting picked up. All that Diana transformation will fuel this Fire Robo turn with AoE Strip and the stun with the skill 1. Fire Monkey getting picked up last because... Fire Monkey cannot be stunned by Okeanos, so that's going to be a very solid last pick. So Robo is going to be banned and Monkey is going to be banned. Master will get his strip and control. Can Blue Whale cut in between and disrupt this combo? Here we go, more going with AoE strip. Will he stun anybody? He will not even strip a single soul. Vert is going to revenge, giving the team attack, but Diana is moving after as well. Diana's gonna go for the transformation. The target will be Cigar. Stripping the immunity. Not doing a whole lot of damage though. But here comes the Ashur. With the silence. Maybe onto the Veladro. He will for the silence. He will get the Veladro. He will get the Violent Prop. Blue Whale is getting the advantage in the first round here. Damage coming in hard onto the Cigar. Very good damage. Almost destroyed this Cigar. Chandra with a skill 3 available as well, together with the protection on the Verd. He will drop the skill 3, getting an attack buff for the team, taking away the Cigar! And Verd's gonna move, Diana's gonna get a turn, maybe stun them more in the process. That is looking really bad, but now Okinos can actually go for the AoE stun. But is that good enough? Can he stun the entire enemy team? Here goes the Okeanos, dropping the heat, stunning the entire enemy team. But who is there to follow up after Okeanos? Both his teammates are being slowed, especially the Veladro is under a lot of pressure right now. Okay, maybe it is the moment where Masi will stabilize once again. He needs to get it. He will get the Okiano's proc. The skill 3 is available once again. He needs to get a turn right now. He will not get stunned by the Chandra. He will dodge that stun. The more need to get, go for a stun here. Big stun and seal onto the Diana. No violent proc coming from Diana to finish off the more. Velajo will get a turn. Bird will get a turn. Can this Chandra stop this Okeanos? Oh, with Ashur will. Beautiful stun from the Chandra. Big silence coming out from Ashur. More going with AoE. Can he stun Despair? He will not stun anybody. Not looking good for Masu. Here comes the shield. And now Veladro can take a turn, but he doesn't have any skill available because of the Silence debuff. And Okeanos will be focused by the entire enemy team because Okeanos have skill 3 available. He need to take this Okeanos down. Okeanos will have to suffer from the skill 3. Or is it going to be the Veladro? It will be the Okeanos losing this damage deal. That's going to be bad for Masu. And now Chandra with a skill 3 available going in with a trick of water. Beautiful slow as well. Landing on everybody. Blue Whale being doing so much work on masu here and that's gg round three between blue Whale and masu will he pre-ban the laura once again If I can't play Laura, you will not play Laura. But then, what will Blue Whale pre-ban? Will he pre-ban the Cigar or the Okeanos, maybe? It's going to be the Yonhong and the Laura getting pre-ban once again. 
both signature LD5 for these two players. First pick for Blue Whale. He is definitely stealing that cigar this time around. Taking the cigar first pick very quickly here. Masu gonna go for the other half of the trio. And now Blue Whale will go for the more. He also has the same lineup. But his follow-up will not be Okeanos, but the Fire Bayek Ashur once again. So what's going to be the counterplay? Losing the Cigar, losing the Yon Hong, he might have to take on the Smicer and the Okeanos here. But that is a bit vulnerable to anti-CC strat. So what's going to be the play for Mars? It's going to be the Asher getting picked up and the Okeanos once again for the AoE control. Chow getting picked up because there's no win unit on the side of Matsu. Solid last pick here coming out from Blue Whale with the Blue Chow. But what's going to be the last one? Is it Juno? Is it going to be? It's going to be a Fire Monkey. He's countering this Okeanos entirely with two strong last pick. That is hard to stun and do very good damage. So I think we need a strong water last pick from Matsu here to deal with his lineup and maybe banning out the Cigar. What is this going to be? Blue Whale is lacking control if the Cigar is getting banned now. He need a strong bruiser here. He does have a Chroma. It is gonna be the Barbara getting picked up very good against the last pick. And that is definitely gonna be a ban on either the Speed Lead or the Cigar on the enemy team. I think we are seeing the Cigar and the Asher ban. Asher is really, really good at providing a lot of support for the team. And the Speed Buff allowed the Okeanos to do some massive damage with the Artifact. But then, Barbara is definitely going to be a one that Blue Whale has to watch out for. That's also a lot of damage on his Chow. It's going to be a Chow ban. It is going to be a Marsh, a Barbara ban. Masu might take turn one. But can he actually control the entire enemy team? Here we go. First to belongs to the Esha with the boost. Will he boost or will he go for the strip? He is looking for a strip here. And that is going to be on to the Ashur. He needs to get this unit down as quickly as possible. Because that thing can strip defense break and do a lot of work on Masu's team. Chandra locking that protection onto the Velajo. Kill 3 available. Will he drop it? He will drop it to move in front of the Cigar. And the Mora is going to return the favor with some AoE damage. Take away the... Attack by immunity, but it did not do enough. Velajo is going to move. Okeanos is about to move as well. Is he going to reset the cigar? He will go for the stun instead. Big stun, get a proc on Blue Whale as well. With the reset available, he will reset the cigar. Looking really bad for Blue Whale here. His entire team is being taken down. With no skill available, he can't do much onto this Okeanos. Okeanos taking some damage, but Ash is here to fix that. And this Ashur is looking really bad. Low on health and Chandra. Velajo are ready to go here with the big damage. Huge damage onto the Fire Bayek. It's going to go down. And the next target will be the Cigar. Fire Monkey might be a really strong solo unit against CC team. But this CC team that Master is running has two healers and a Chandra in it. It's going to be very hard for the Fire Monkey to bring down this Oki. But this Cigar with a huge defense break on the Oki. And Oki is going to go down to the Fire Monkey. Things are looking really good for Blue Whale. Or maybe not. He loses the more, And now he needs to bring down this Esher. That's not going to be easy. Cigar looking like it's going to get stunned soon. Here comes the attack by boost. The slow debuff working really well against the Fire Monkey. One of the biggest telling parts of Fire Monkey is that the speed that it gains from the passive is really good. But a slow debuff on the Chandra just nullify the Fire Monkey passive speed gain. Here we go. Cigar looking for a target to reset. He will go down together with that reset. Monkey, last one standing. Can Monkey do it? He will not get the proc. He will get focused by three enemies. And immunity coming up as well. No defense break, no damage. Monkey is the one getting defense broken. And GG, Master will take game three. Fire Monkey dropping in viability in the meta with how much effective Chandra and Velajo is at protecting and doing damage on the enemy team. Here we go, round four between Matsu and Blue Whale. What is going to be the pre ban this time? Are we locking in an Ashur and Laura pre ban? I feel like Matsu can actually pre ban one of 
Blue Whale most commonly draft unit now. It's gonna be a cigar and a lot of pre-band. First pick for Matsu. He will not even use cigar. He's gonna show Blue Whale that he doesn't need a cigar to beat him. First pick for Matsu. It is going to be the Chandra. So without Chandra, without Cigar, what will Blue Whale do? He does have the more and the Assure first pick if he go for the usual route. He's going to go for the Oliver first pick here together with the mouse for some single target damage and control. But one of the biggest problems with Oliver mouse is the Chandra. That is why Chandra became slowly very popular in the meta because of the AOE slow debuff that shut down the mouse effectiveness. Villager getting picked up here for some protection. And the Yon Hong getting picked up as well for the turn one attack bar boost. And we are locking in the Barbara for Blue Whale as well. He's becoming more and more vulnerable to the slow debuff and a Leo last pick from Masu. So we definitely need a fire unit here to balance out his team at the moment. What is what is the support? It's gonna be the Barbara getting picked up. Masu has the Leo last pick angle here and another unit to deal with that entire enemy team maybe a nana maybe a leo nana last pick might be okay for matsu but he does have some other ld5 that he might want to show us here to surprise the enemy as well because when you draft like that you fully know leo is gonna show up no leo Matsu is gonna say that i'm gonna outspeed you instead that's gonna be a zibala and another speedy getting picked up by matsu looking like an oliver ban here blue whale seeing that double speed lead he might lose the oliver he need another speed lead or he needs some play to counter that Zibala, that's gonna be a Shizuka last pick to counter the enemy team without any cool time reset like Cigar. Zibala can increase enemy cool time, but I don't think that is gonna be the main focus for Zibala in this round. Are we seeing a Shizuka ban here? I think it's gonna be a Shizuka ban and maybe a Zibala ban. Here comes the Shizuka ban, and that's gonna be the Yonhong ban. Can Blue Whale outspeed? Will this mouse stun the enemy Zibala or more? Blue Whale with a snipe strategy going in hard. First turn belongs to the Zibala. Zibala will outspeed the enemy, freeze the double non wheel unit, and that is looking really bad. No strip coming out from this mouse. He's gonna go for the villager to do some damage. Oliver is gonna shut down the more skill too. But that is all there is to it because Chandra is going to apply the slow debuff on the entire enemy team. Looking really bad for Blue Whale. Big slow debuff on the two units that need their speed the most. Velagio protection coming up. Marsha cannot hit the Velagio. Will not do much damage onto the water unit. Looking really bad for Marsha in this position. And the Barbara is going to get stunned by the Moor as well. Zibala with the cooldown protection. Support onto the more looking really bad. More might have the spin ready to go. The more have the spin ready to go, and that's gonna be huge damage on the enemy team. Velager with a follow up damage onto the Marsha. Marsha looking like it's gonna go down from her beast very soon. More getting a turn here. Kill one attack break onto the Marsha. Marsha will lose her beast, lose her immunity altogether, and she's going to crit on the more, but not gonna do a whole lot of damage because of the attack break. Chandra would not get stunned. Chandra, skill unavailable. Will he take down the Marsha? He will take down the Beast of the Barbara as well. Marsha's gonna go down to the Velajo. Oliver finally get a chance to control the more once again. But that's the only thing Oliver can do at the moment. And now he needs to control the Zibala. He needs to get this reset. He will get the reset. Look like Blue Whale might have a chance here. But the Chandra will say no to that chance. She, he will slow the entire enemy team, including Oliver. And the Velajo will go in with the big damage onto the Barbara. Looking really bad for the Oliver once again. The Maul will take down the Barbara. Blue Whale down to his last two unit. Oliver will miss the control on the Chandra. And he will get the, another cool time reset onto the Zibala. But the Velajo with the Violent Proc might have sealed the deal. GG! Matsu will take game four.